Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Heavy Rain. So we're just about to get some research underway. We're about to look into some files. This one here says uh, Origami Killer, so that looks like a good place to start. Select, select. Whoops, not what I meant to do. Hmm. Here we go, open up our little imaginary digital uh, holographic filing cabinet, which I so want. Okay, one of them says victims, the other one is modus operandi. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between 9 and 13. Wait, in the last three years? No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. How do you know it's rainwater? Huh. All right. Let's put our thinking caps on, guys. Let's really pay attention here, because I have a feeling this is vital, vital information. For one thing, he said eight victims within the last three years between the ages of, what, eight and 13? Which are the ages of Ethan's sons. They all went missing in public places in broad daylight, which is how we lost, or how Ethan lost his first son at the mall, which is sounding really suspicious. You're thinking maybe some um, mental illness, psychological illness is, uh, you know, happens, you know, traumatizing event, having lost Jason, and maybe he's just repeating uh, the same the same tragedy that he went through with Jason, but for other people. However, on the one hand, it's quite obvious that it seems like their input, um, that they're implying Ethan here. And on the other hand, they said within the last three years, and we happen to know, thanks to the uh, the little timeline that we were given, that this is two years after Jason died. So uh, the origami killer has been around for a year before Ethan's son Jason died. Uh, which means that if it was Ethan, he was doing this before Jason died. And I don't think that it is Ethan, honestly. I just don't. What? Ah! Sorry, dropping vital computer equipment on the ground. <clears throat> so, uh, and I, I feel like he, up until he lost Jason, he was a perfectly healthy, happy, content uh, person. And I just can't imagine him. I just don't think that it was him. So, uh, what's this? Modus operandi. Operan op operandi. Oh, An origami in the hand. An orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Hmm, that's interesting. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Sounds frustrating, Jaden. You must be frustrated. What is this? Analyze geoanalysis. Okay, what's this geoanalysis? Geo, uh, uh, geo analysis? No data. Hmm, well, that's not helpful. I guess there wouldn't be any geo analysis on, um, on modus operandi, but there might be a geo analysis on the victims. Ah, hoy there. Take a look at that. That's. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. I wonder if there I wonder if that's making a shape. It didn't look like it's making a shape. Um I think it'd be a little bit too cliche if there was actually a clue as to the shape. It's a little too common. Um what else do we have to look at here? Uh I think that's it under this file. Let me just think here. Wait, hold on. How many were there? Show that again. There were eight victims. How many victims were on that, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's eight. One is across what looks like a bridge. If I'm not mistaken, he also mentioned that they were all found near uh, tr trains. Didn't he say that at the scene of the crime? There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. Aha! And all the victims disappeared in the fall. 
in the fall. Is there anything else I can get from this? No? There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the hmm. fall. A railroad line. You know, what? where we found... Uh, when we found the boy Jeremy Bowles, that was on an area what they called the Wasteland. And I thought that was kind of weird. I thought that was actually like, um, I don't know, some name for a location. But anyways, if you think back, the, the that hooker, uh, Lauren, she said that her son liked to play at the Wasteland. Don't know if that's really... Um, let's see if there's anything else that we missed here. I just like going through things twice in case... The Wait, that is different. White. Age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, uh -huh. calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Huh. Well, if we're going to be proper investigators, we're going to match all of these to Ethan. Ethan is white. Ethan is employed. His job, as he works from home, uh, offers him a lot of free time. He's between the ages of 30 and 45. And I'm finding it, again, suspicious that Ethan fits so easily into the category that I just... I, um... I'm not really the kind of person to go for such obvious bait like that. Um... Unless that's... Uh, unless! Unless it's reverse psychology, yeah? That, that the game developers are intentionally making it seem obvious. Therefore, you're gonna think it's not, because it actually is. Huh? Huh? Let's get this stuff out of the way. What else can we do here? Those were files, so let's take a look at clues. Oh, that's neat. Look at that little box. That's so cool. It's probably stuff that we found, right? Let me sit closer. I cannot even see what this says. The tracks, tire tracks. Tyron Brand, Chevro cars, Chevy Malibu. A Chevrolet Malibu 83. Anything else? Probability 96%. That's pretty high probability. No, that's it. Okay, moving right along. Oh, wait. Geoanalysis. Geoanalysis. Where are these tires sold, eh? No geoanalysis. Well, that's not helpful at all. What's that? I don't even know what that says. Origami figure. A dog. Or now it looks like a squirrel. No, it's a dog. Cellulose, 75% no cotton. Clues. Hmm. Mm. Nothing much to go on. Other than the fact that it's an origami figure. And also, to my knowledge, I don't think that, uh... Wait a minute. <gasps> Wait a minute, guys! Do you remember that letter that Ethan got? It was really weird, and I thought that it was some reference to the Pied Piper. Uh... I just thought of that right now. I wonder how significant that is to the story. It almost seems as though the the kidnapper or the killer because I'm assuming I'm assuming that uh, Sean's been kidnapped now because he's well gone um, it's possible that the kidnapper sent that as like a message before he did it that would seem entirely possible an orchid a funeral flower mm. a symbol of innocence Common species that doesn't help much. Let me just double check that there's nothing else on this. Here? It's always good to double check. Flower of the orchid family, common species. The orchid oh, hey. is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Hmm. Exactly, exactly the same geographical area as the victims. Well, shoot. I don't know. I don't know what we're left with now, guys. Uh, I mean, I think that's basically everything. What's that? Uh, what is this? Environment? Okay, so we can basically change our environment again if we so wish, which I don't. Anything else to do? Map? Our map? 
just look at our map, I suppose. Um, I wonder where the railroad lines are. It's too bad that it doesn't actually show where the railroad lines are because um, that might actually be helpful. <gasps> oh no! What's going on? What's happening? Holy hell! Are we flipping out? Can we play a single sane character that doesn't have a mental breakdown on us? Norman! Norman! He stay with us! Again. again. Wash my face. Why did he say again? Why do I feel a sense of panic? Oh my god. The stuff is shaking. The stuff is shaking. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Ah! What do I do? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It's alright. Do you see this guy? I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. I feel so panicky. This game is a great job of making me feel panicky. What's that? It's the stuff. Take Tripto. I don't know what it is, but let's not, because I don't trust it. Because he did put it back in his pocket last time. <gasps> what are we doing? Oh my god, this is kind of scary. Is everything alright, sir? No. No, we're not alright. Can't you see? Can't you see that we are not alright? No one will see. Must see what? You look pale. Oh my god! <gasps> ah! He's twitching! What, do I, what am I doing? <sighs> Walk! Walk, you fool! Get to the bathroom! Get in there! Uh, oh god, I don't have this dexterity. I don't have this kind of dexterity. Oh, we made it, thank goodness. What is wrong with you? Is he dying? Does he have a condition? Is he... He washed his face. Does that mean he's okay now? What was that stuff? Tripto? Tripto. It looked... It looked curiously like a drug. It kind of did. Holy hell, Norman. What is wrong with you? I am totally interested in this guy now. That was interesting. So that was the stuff that he had in his pocket when he said he was shaking when he arrived at the scene of the crime. Is that Ethan? That looks like Ethan. He's wearing the same coat. Well, that would be logical, you know, going to report his son missing. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Oh, great. We get this guy. It, it was this afternoon. Th I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then Poor he wanted Ethan. to go on the carousel. So I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Oh yeah, nothing exactly. about the blackout in the street. What time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Uh, Every detail can be important. Oh, oh, I know this one. It, it was uh dark. it was 410. 410's not there. 4 415. There's 415. 415. Yeah, it was 410 cuz we looked at the clock. Exactly Aha, uh -huh, see clock we. The park when we arrived. We looked at the clock and what it said at the bottom of the screen. He was wearing a coat. He was wearing brown, beige, black, green. I'm pretty sure it was beige. A beige beige coat. coat. And a pair of pants. With a pink undershirt. Pants? Hell if I know. Um, beige pants. I, 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 no, they weren't beige! I didn't How push that! Disappeared without you even noticing. Ugh, God, you apparently there the was... Carousel? I can't remember. Little walk, stayed on the bench. I went to sit on a bench a little way off. Yeah. I didn't notice right away the carousel had stopped. That must have been when Sean disappeared. You say you took your son to the park after school. I hope that's you not, you know, important. Until 8 Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I searched. Obviously I searched. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Oh, hey. You're looking good. I don't think so. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Oh, well, yeah, Ever this whole okay thing that at hurt. school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? Well, yeah, there's that. Uh, my wife and I have been separated for the last six months. Oh, okay, it's been six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right, huh. that's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Okay, I did it, not hit that his pants were beige. Do you think the origami killer... 
Apparently, if you take too long, he just Listen, selects a, a random just off, one. Turn up in a couple of hours. Which I do not appreciate. I don't remember what, what color the pants were. I think they were dark. Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Oh, no. Wow, that's really, really insensitive. Is that what they teach you in your cop sensitivity training? Oh, hey, it's the wife. Or the. Did they find yeah, something? Wife. No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they. Do they think it's the origami killer? No, they don't. Tell her no. Tell her no, Ethan. It, it, it's still too early to say. Ugh. But it is a possibility. Ethan! Why would you tell her that? Ethan! Look at how upset you've what made her. Oh. How could you lose Sean like that? Oh no, not this. You should never have taken your eyes off him. Not the blame hey, for game. For God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Oh, Why did Ethan. you leave him, Ethan? Why? I didn't! Wasn't it enough losing Jason? <gasps> oh. I'm sorry. Wow. That's, um, that's, not what that's, I meant to say. that's pretty low. That's low, woman. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> well, I hope that you hurting me has eased your own suffering. Because that was cold. I don't care how much distress you're in. <laughs> don't you think that Ethan feels even worse than you do? He's probably asking himself the same question. Poor guy, it wasn't even his fault. He did nothing. It was, I don't know, it was not even his fault. He, ne he was not negligent. He blacked out, which is not something you can control. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, this is where we're going to end it. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.